Brendan, overall then, a lot more good than bad from Liverpool today? Yeah, no, absolutely. I thought that we were uh, the better team in the first half. Looked a real threat going forward and I thought deservingly took the lead. Um, we're disappointed with the goal. It's a mistake, um, which um, disappoints. But uh, second half, we uh, we obviously knew we'd come under a wee bit of pressure because we were the better team. Um, and the game becomes more counter-attack for us second half. But... Uh, but still, I was, I was really proud of the players. I thought they're what they put into the game. And uh, as I said, it was a, a tough game as it always is here. And I thought they responded really well. What was your fast start down to? I think the, the motivation of the players and was was very high to, to come here. We, we know that we're improving uh, as each game goes on. Um, so they want to come here and, and do the team and the club proud and the supporters. So uh, we had a real good start in the game, opened up. Um, opened up the pitch well. Uh, we still can be better with our passing, I think. Uh, but still, we looked a real threat, and uh, the two front guys looked like they could score. Um, second half, we didn't keep the ball well enough once we won it back, uh, and that could invite the pressure on. But I thought defensively, still, we were we were very good. Restricted them to very very few chances, and uh, and still looked a break uh, a threat on the counter attack. Was the equaliser an example of what you spoke about before the game? The old failing, just too many. Soft goals given away. Yeah, and it's been throughout my time here. So, and there's a mixture of, of youthful players and uh, and just mistakes. Um, total control of the game. You know, we score five minutes before half time, um, but unfortunately we concede a, a poor goal. Do you feel like you're any closer to getting a handle on that? Those soft goals. Well, it's it's something that you you have to eradicate. And have we done that? We won the game today. So, um, but when you've got so many young players and about the, the team and and obviously the team changing about sometimes then uh, that makes it difficult but I think it's as individual we need to be better in certain individual moments of the game and uh, and if we can do that then obviously we'll, we'll, we're always a threat going forward You still take that as a decent point here? That's a very good point, I think that you know, it's a very very difficult place to come like Anfield is for them so, uh, so for me it's my fourth time here um, they've all been draws in the games uh, but I felt that what we looked like uh, we were getting better and uh, in our attack, and obviously defensively we're much more cohesive. So, uh, so no, that's a good point. We've had a difficult start away from home. You know, a lot of big games away from home, and re players have responded really well, apart from the Manchester United game. It was seen as a big day for you personally, and of course, you know the pressure better than anyone. Do you think your team showed, perhaps again today, that you are on the right path? Well, it wasn't for me. Um, there's no pressure. For me, the my worry is always for the players and the team. That's all I'm concerned about. And I think you've seen the response today from the players, how they've been. But it's no surprise to me because I, I work with them every day. They're a wonderful group. They're very honest. They, they work very hard and some of them are adjusting to a new club. You know, you got to remember, this is a team that's lost um, you know, four of the real catalysts for this team. So there's a constant rebuilding being going on here. And unfortunately, that takes time. So whether that's me or someone else in the job, um, that will take time. Did you? But, uh, but I think you've seen today that the players were 150% committed to the to what we're trying to do. And uh, as I said, I'm just disappointed for them that they couldn't get the get the win. Did you get the impression, though, that you needed a performance like you got today from no. your team? No, no, not really. I've, as I said, I just continue to work. I'm not worried. I know there's pressure from outside or trying to put pressure on to sell I suppose papers and media to have something to speak about but th there's nothing for me other than to, to work well every day and uh, I will be here as long as I'm asked to be here you know I I think uh, as I said I can really help the club in terms of what it is they're trying to do and until they tell me otherwise I'll give everything to, to make the football club better and when the time comes for me not to be here I'll accept that and uh, I will move on because it's an incredible club and, a, uh, as I said, a real, real wonderful football club to work for. But I hope to be here for, uh, for a bit longer yet. Thank you, Brendan. Pleasure.